we begin with that breaking news. President Obama is ending the so-called wet foot, dry foot policy. This is the policy that allows Cuban refugees who physically make it to dry land in the U.S. to stay here. CBS 4's Hank Tester just arrived at Versailles in Little Havana to get reaction. Hank, explain all of this to us. Well, those Cubans that uh, were leaving the island in droves over the last six months did a really smart thing because as of right now, they will not be able to land on U.S. soil and become what they call dry foot because President Obama, who has uh, paid special attention to Cuba, has made a major change. It's been a fabric of this community since 1996. Let's take a look at some uh, video uh, as uh, we uh, work our way through this story. It's a, a fascinating one. The Obama administration is ending wet foot, dry foot that granted residency to Cubans who arrived in the U.S. without visas. Now, that's according to a senior administration official. The official said the U.S. and Cuba have spent several months negotiating for the change. That's interesting because that's the first time that has surfaced, including an agreement from Cuba to allow those turned away from the U.S. to return. That's always been a worry because uh, the people who were repatriated back or or wanted to return, always were concerned about uh, uh, being uh, harassed by the Cuban government. Now, this move comes about a week before President Obama leaves office, likely to be the last major change he's made in the overhaul of U.S. relationships. Now, just a quick background here. Wet foot, dry foot policy has been in since uh, a 1996 revision of the Cuban Adjustment Act. You might remember that after the rafter crisis, uh, they had to decide between the U.S. and Cuba what they were going to do about those coming to the U.S. And the agreement was that the, uh, the folks who were found out on the water in other words, still had wet feet, would be returned to Cuba. And the Coast Guard has done that on a regular basis ever since. But those who made it, and we've seen thousands of pictures of those folks coming on, on shore in the Florida Keys and uh, here in, uh, in Miami, uh, that, uh, that was the law of the land at that particular time. Now it's all gone. One uh, stroke of the pen, and apparently President Obama has made that change. So that's the very latest. We're going to be working uh, the crowd here and getting a reaction. We'll have much more for you tonight at 6 in this major breaking story about U.S.-Cuban relations. For now, I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you guys. All right, Hank, thanks very much. A few moments ago, I spoke with Dr. Andy Gomez. He's a former assistant provost and dean at the School of International Studies at University of Miami. I asked him for a reaction to the news. I'm somewhat surprised. I expected that it was going to be president-elect Donald Trump who was going to deal with it. But at the same time, I've been hearing s stories from my sources inside Cuba and in Washington, D.C., that now the Fidel Castro side of the picture, Raul Castro wanted to show the United States uh, a better face that he's willing to somehow talk, not necessarily change, but have more meaningful talks. And one of the conditions always has been get rid of this what for dry foot policy. So in a way, uh, it surprises me, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, this is a policy that has been very controversial. It has cost many lives on the seas, people trying to make it to South Florida. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the question remains, right now, the United States only grants 20,000 visas per year to Cubans to try to leave the island. Are they going to increase those numbers? Because I'm, I have to assume that the demand is going to increase. Dr. Andy Gomez, and there is no word yet on whether the U.S. is planning to increase the number of visas available to Cubans who are looking to move here to the U.S., and there is no reaction at this point from anyone in Cuba either. Our CBS 4 News team is working this story and our contacts, and of course, we will update you on this decision and what it means throughout these next 90 minutes and online anytime at CBSMiami.com.